do I have something to show you? Check this out. What do you guys think? The sign down there says private property. But the good stuff is back over there, over that hillside. Should I just go for it? Might as well, right? I've always been the adventure type. And I've always been the kind of person who likes to go out and try to find things that are a little bit different. Now this time I found something. And sometimes what you find is just amazing. Good morning and welcome to Temesco Valley. Look at all this land out here. Standing directly in front of me right here, Cleveland National Forest. Now, I don't know if you can see a little bit further down. That's the 15 freeway. For years and years, I've traveled southbound on that freeway. I've traveled northbound on that freeway. And never once did I think that just over these hillside right here, or just over this hillside right around here, is a small piece of history. I woke up this morning, decided I would come out and try to find this. I didn't know if I could or not. I didn't know if I would be able to, but I took a chance. And I think it's down this trail, which is why I'm gonna bring you guys along. Let's go take a hike down this trail, see if we can find it. Now, if you don't remember me telling you that all this land was Indian territory, well, there's something I want to show you. And something that I've only seen in pictures, and something that I never expected to find. Check this out. There it is, in all its glory. Carved rock. Looks like I gotta go all the way down this trail down here. Maybe cut across over there to get to it. I don't know, let's check it out. For hundreds of years, if you can imagine, this rock has been here. The tribe that inhabited this area carved out, carved out these carvings on this rock. It's amazing to think that a piece of history like this is still out here to find. Now, if you can't see all these right here, are all Indian carvings that have been here, that have lasted years upon years upon years. If you look a little higher up, you can make out a sun a little bit higher up. It looks like some sort of head dressing. Now there's not too much about this rock online because I've searched, I've searched for information and it was kind of hard to even find the location. But when I found it, I knew I had to come out here. From what I've gathered from these markings is that this was a high chief's death site. Somewhere around here, a high rank Lucinio chief passed away. This is honestly pretty amazing, being the fact that I can get this close to a piece of history. I'm not too familiar with my Native American history, but I respect it. And to come to some place like this, some may find it a little scary, but to me, I find it pretty amazing. Usually when I come up to places like this, I like to Usually when I come out to places like this, it's not to come out and be disrespectful by all means. I come out here to show my respect and to see the beauty in what came before us. Temesco Canyon carved rock. Absolutely beautiful. I think it's time for me to move on now and leave this piece of history alone. Because you know what? There's gonna be more. 
it's always a pleasure to come out here and see something like that. It was definitely a little hike to come out here, but it definitely was well worth it. There's one thing that kind of bugs me though. Just to the south of me, they're starting to develop new housing tracks. And what kind of bums me out is I'm worried that all this will someday be housing tracks and that will no longer exist. It's time for me to head on out. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it this far, this is going to be a short vlog because I may have passed a couple of private property signs that are a little bit further down the road and I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm going to try to get on out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Where we go next, I don't know. Check out some of my other videos. I'll see you guys next time. I almost forgot. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.